Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Zia. So today we would be talking about lecture number five about strategic planning and management. Today's lecture is encompassed or it is encompassing strategic management model. So when we talk about strategic management model, it is considered very important model in the strategic management uh, field of uh, research or field of knowledge. So what is strategic management model and what it is composed of? Strategic management model is composed of four important aspects. This is what the strategic management team or the top level leaders, top level corporate leadership of an organization perform. Let me tell you the various aspects or components of strategic management model. Number one, listen attentively. Number one, environmental scanning. Number two, strategy formulation. Number three, strategy implementation. Number four, strategy evaluation and control. So I'm going to, uh, going to focus on number one that is called environmental scanning. In environmental scanning, when I talk about, it means the organization needs to scan internal environment as well as external environment. When I talk about external environment, I say the organization analyzes or scans the external societal aspects. And in societal aspects, various ingredients come into play. When I talk about external environmental scanning, the second aspect is environment, where various aspects also come into play. Then general forces are there then various tasks can be there. The task environment can be scanned. The industry analysis, the market analysis can be also considered. So the next is when I talk about environmental scanning, I also say the internal environmental scanning and within what I call internal environmental scanning, there are few aspects which need to be considered. The structure of the organization, the chain of the com chain of command of an organization, the organizational culture, the belief system, the values, the expectations of the employees and the team members, the resources of the organization, the assets, the skills, the what we call uh, the knowledge, the competition, the competitiveness of uh, the employees the ambition, ambitions of the employees in the organization, we need to scan all of that. After scanning what we call environmental scanning, the first step of internal as well as external environment, we move towards the second step. The second step is strategy formulation. In strategy formulation, there are four important sub steps. The first one is mission. Number two is objectives. Number three is strategies. Number four is policies. So in strategy formulation, when we talk about mission, so mission is what? Mission is the reason for existence. We need to set that. That must be extremely clear to the employer as well as the employees. The second is objectives. What are objectives? Objectives means what results to accomplish by when. So what results to accomplish by when? The next is strategies. Strategies mean plan of action or plan to achieve the mission and vision of the organization. And the last one in strategy formulation box or paradigm is policies. Policies are what? Policies are broad guidelines for decision making. So let's move to the third step. First, we talked about environmental scanning. Second, we talked about strategy formulation. Now third is strategy implementation. Strategy implementation is composed of programs, budgets and procedures. What comes in programs or what are programs? Programs are activities needed to accomplish a plan. What, are, what could be discussed in budget? budget Budget means budget is uh, budget comes uh, encompasses the cost of the program. Budget encompasses the cost of the program, and 
the third aspect is procedure or procedures the procedures are sequences of step sequences of steps to do the job so in strategy implementation programs budgets and procedures combined together the last step is strategy evaluation and control up till now we covered environmental scanning strategy formulation strategy implementation and now we are moving towards evaluation and control evaluation and control means uh, it's the process to monitor performance and the corrective and to take the corrective action when we talk about this to monitor the performance and take the corrective actions it means to check the performance and what happens if you see that something uh, you uh, you were unable to achieve because you set a strategy and you wanted to achieve it at the end you check that you haven't achieved the performance then what to do you need to go back that's what we call feedback or learning loop you go back towards strategy implementation if something was wrong there correct that if nothing was wrong there you move back towards strategy formulation maybe something went wrong in strategy formulation what we call strategic planning if nothing was wrong there then move back to environmental scanning maybe something went wrong in environmental scanning so this is this whole process is called strategic management model starting from environmental scanning strategy formulation strategy implementation and finally evaluation and control so let me just add few things more when i talk about strategy uh, i mean uh, environmental scanning i really mean that we go for monitoring evaluating and disseminating information from environment to key people within the organization you do scan via scan uh, swot analysis what do you mean by what do you do in swot analysis you look for opportunities threats in external environment you look for strengths and weaknesses in the internal environment you can do for you can go for doing pest or pestal analysis pest analysis is comprised of political economic social and technological aspects so you scan all these aspects okay when we move towards strategy formulation i say the definition of strategy formulation could be like this it is the process of developing long range plans to deal effectively with environmental opportunities and threats in lights or in light of corporate strengths and weaknesses so strategy formulation is composed as i have already discussed earlier is composed of mission objectives strategies and policies if we move towards strategy implementation we say that uh, i mean we can define it that it's a process it's again a process of putting strategies and policies into action through the development of various things through the development of programs budgets procedures how do you uh, uh, go for uh, uh, putting the policies into action through programs programs are statements of activities or steps needed to accomplish a single use plan what are budgets budgets are statements of a corporation's programs in dollar term or in money term in monetary terms what are procedures procedures are the systems of sequential steps or techniques that describe in detail how to perform particular task or job okay finally we reach to evaluation and control when we talk about evaluation control i say that evaluation con and control is a process of monitoring corporate activities and performance results so that actual performance can be compared with the desired performance so this is what we covered today that is strategic management model my name is dr zia uh, if you like this uh, video please subscribe like and share with your friends and fellows i thank you very much and see you in my next lecture